Welcome to the third in my development diary series for my Mongoose Traveller Foundry system. Um, this coincides with release 0 0.10 of, of the system. And the main focus of the release has been modifications to further support Foundry V12. Now, I don't yet support Foundry V12. There are still some things that are broken, but some of the bit bigger breakages have, have now been resolved. And I'm sort of continuing to work on adding further support for Foundry V12. So also as part of this release, there's been some changes around uh, packages and also the UX for item sheets. The big change is that skills are now defined in code rather than in the actors template.json file. Um, this is needed due to a breaking change in Foundry v12, which means we can't access that data in the template anymore. Uh, we tend to use it when setting the default skills for items. And we, we were reading it out of the template file. Um, that's no longer possible. So we now configure it within the config data structure within the code itself. This has a couple of knock-on effects. Um, the first of which it's a bit easier to localize um, the skills. So all the skill labels are now defined in the localization file rather than in the template. Um, the second thing is that it's easier to modify or overwrite the list of skills available. So for example, um, someone recently published a Star Wars version of Mongoose Traveler um, and with a completely different set of skills and oops um, and I decided to see how easy would that be to modify with a add-on module and yeah it it works um, updating the characteristics is a bit harder um, a lot of them are hard coded. I mean, if you change strength, dex and end, then the combat system breaks. Um, there's simple calculations like calculating the maximum number of skills, which rely on int and edgy being there. So if they change, then um, that's not so easy. That would require code changes to support it. But say if you wanted to support Traveler 2300 or some or your own slightly customized version of Traveller with a different set of skills, then it would be possible to, for example, create a module which just overwrites the list of skills on an it and any new characters that are created would use those skills rather than the default built-in skills. So, so that, that's an, another advantage of um, adding in support for V12. Another smaller change that um, I've been working on is a few updates to actor templates. So here we've got an example. So here's a template and if you look at the career terms, when you now specify a random term length, so you can set a dice roll um, now, this is useful for the background career packages in the companion. Um, they default to 3D6. Previously, you could set a random term length. It was always 3D6. Now, you can set it to anything you want. So, you can set up your own sort of set of templates and things for building NPCs or even PCs if you want to do that. And another change that's been made so if we create a, a character, so here's, here's a random character. So if we drag on the civilian template, yeah, you can see we've selected a number of skills and it's randomly rolled the characteristics um, according to what's defined up here, but if we have a look at the, the chat window, we've actually now output what's been applied to that 
character template. So it makes it a bit easier to see what's changed uh, because previously, especially if we've already got skills there. So if we so take another one, so let's uh, so let's add uh, management. Um, we can see something changed there, but if we go to the template, we can see edge increased by two, sub improved by one, got a bit of extra cash, and it's added another six years to their life. Yeah, that should make it a bit easier um, to see what's being done, especially if, say, players are, are creating their own characters, and here's some... Uh, Let's create a new, fresh new character. Um, so we can give them a background of developed world. Uh, yeah, it will hide, hide the text if you've got a, a large amount of text there. And let's make them member of a list of member of the military and we can see if they've got an ally and they've got an assault rifle and yeah and that's sort of they spent 18 years in that career and we can see what their skills are so it it make, makes it a bit easier to see to see what's going on basically right the other changes that have been made recently are around item sheets. So if we open up a character and take a look at one of their weapons, we can see that the weapon has traits and there's little blue pill boxes showing that this particular weapon has a trait of stun and zero G. Now previously this was a pretext field so you could put in anything you wanted but it also meant that if you didn't spell things right, um, you know, maybe you didn't put a hyphen in zero G or you did it all in lowercase rather than uppercase or whatever, then it wouldn't be read correctly. So now we have a limited set of traits. Um, and when, but when you put them in, you know that they are going to be the right trait and you can modify the ones that have value. Um, if you hold down shift, it will modify it by a, lar a larger amount um, and you can get rid of them as well. Uh, now, the when you migrate to V10, we do try and understand what's been written before as, as well as we can. And you can see here, is one where it hasn't quite understood what was written. Um, so it's put it's kept the trait, but it's put it in, in red. And so you know, okay, that's not a valid zero G trait. Um, we can add that in, get rid of that, and we can manually fix that. But it will try and automatically update these as much as it can. Um, so for armor, we've done the same thing for um, energy types. You have a list there. Um, okay, let's have a look at an editable one. So you can put in what the other energy types are if you've got energy protection, such as reflect armor or something like that. That, that would be a good example. We can see that, yep, yeah, okay, and you don't need to worry about should it be uppercase, lowercase, is it is it fire, flame, whatever. You you know which ones are supported. Um, cargo handles things in the same way. So you have <coughs> purchase modifiers and sell modifiers. These are again all selected from drop down menus rather than uh, being free text fields, um, we try to migrate these again, um, but the, nothing's actually being done with this at the moment. I, I, until I put in the trade system, um, then I, 
sort of assuming no one's really gone through and set up all the um, different cargo types. So there's not as much effort to try and get this um, accurately migrated from what people may have already entered. But for weapons and armor, uh, we do try and migrate things as, as best we can. So hopefully that will make things a bit more obvious as to what needs to go in there um, and make it more accurate. Um, it should be possible to add to these via a, a module if you need to. Um, some of them are supported, some aren't quite so much. So, you know, scope and laser sight are both there on the list. We don't do anything with them. We rely on, okay, you knowing to add um, dice modifiers if, if, if you're using them. Um, that's something that should change later. Um, but yeah, some of them such as AP, auto, I mean, if we, uh, let's choose one. So I think Fred's got a super com combat rifle. So he's got auto three, AP three. If we attack, um, we can see that it will automatically give you the options for burst fire, full auto, and that will roll and it will include the um, armor piercing modifier in there when you apply the damage, etc. So that's so, so some of them are fully supported, um, others I'm, I am working on. So yeah, they are the main changes that have been made recently. Um, there's been a few small bug fixes as well. Um, some extra spacecraft tokens have been added in. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's create an actor spacecraft. Um, so um, I think that may have been added in since last time. A support for a computer um, that may have been here previously. We have a look at that. Uh, we've also got a lab ship and the Empress Morava in there as well as uh, as available tokens um, and then slowly adding to the list of ship tokens as well but yeah that will get done over time but yeah those are the main changes that have happened over the last few weeks and yeah I'll continue to improve support for things and fix bugs and add in new features as I get time Okay, thank you.